This is Serena Catania with Conversations at the Film Vault. You can find us at filmvault.biz, or we might just bump into you as we're wandering the globe in search of adventure and new friends like you. This interview was recorded in Berlin on February 15, 2016, during the 66th Berlin International Film Festival. It is the first of two parts with freelance journalist David Moraquand, who currently lives in Berlin and writes for the English-language Ex-Berliner magazine, among others. Since I can't possibly cover everything myself, it seemed very appropriate to ask the other experts, like David, what they thought about the Berlinale and the films being exhibited there. I spoke with him about why he's there, what he feels about the most notable films so far, and why on earth he might be working this hard. Uh, it has a, a certain um, quality to it. The, the, the lineup is, is quite impressive. But I, I have seen quite a lot of, uh, of, of the Panorama films. They've, um, they're, they're, a lot of people tend to neglect them uh, for the competition, uh, but the Forum and Panorama. Panorama is, is very much uh, in the same lines of the Un Certain Regard category at Cannes. And it's, um, th there are gems in there. Uh, there's, there's, you know, you, you kind of have to swim through a lot of, of stuff, but there are certain films that are definitely worth seeing. Uh, one in particular that I've, I've been um, recommending quite a bit is, is Shelley, uh, a, a film, a Danish a co production that's Danish and Swedish, and uh, it, it, it riffs on the horror genre very well, and it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic film. And uh, again, there are certain titles in the panorama and forum sections that I, I, I believe should be completely illegible for uh, the the competition selection and I'm not quite sure why uh, who knows how they choose the the, the competition films the little men was uh, premiered if I'm not mistaken at Sundance it's the new Iris Axe film and it is uh, quite fantastic uh, very very touching story of, of two children uh, a friendship that is threatened by uh, adult life and uh, also a tale about gentrification. Uh, it's it's a very very touching film. It had it had me in tears towards the end. And you see these two children. There are certain scenes there where you watch them grow up, and um, it's a very rare thing. You have the boyhood on one side that takes snippets of life every time, and uh, for for little men, there are just these little moments that you can tell will shape them for years to come and, and you see them in front of you. It's, it is quite something and I, I couldn't recommend that more, yes. Fire at Sea, Fire at Sea, yes, Fuku um, it was It was a very impressive documentary, it looked fantastic. And uh, the director, if I'm not mistaken, won uh, the at Venice. I think his one of his uh, past films was the first documentary to win at Venice. Um, I I was a little bit more. It left me cold. I have to admit. I it was it was very impressive. The young man um, uh, Samuel uh, is 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 terrific. Uh, the only thing that that I'll say is that I, I, I've seen other films here um, that tackle the same subjects and do so better uh, and as a documentary it, it did there was a distance it left me a little cold uh, compared to other documentaries uh, there's one called Tempestad which is in the forum section uh, a Mexican film which is breathtaking it uh, it talks about corruption uh, and what mothers will do for their sons and uh, I was I was left completely uh, shattered by it and it, it talks about these issues in a very poetical way it's it's gorgeous so tempestad that that one and it's beautiful and i think there is a, a political streak to berlin that's that's definite and and, and you can feel it um but I, I i mean the american films are very well received uh again iris axe for instance the the, the little men um i i think there, there's something quite um I, i'll say this about the berlinale they're they're, they're Everyone is is open-minded. There isn't. Um, you'll you'll rarely hear booing, for instance, uh, during a film like you could at Cannes. And it's there's there's applause and even I, I don't know. There, there's there's a spirit that you'll hear for the films as opposed to the networking. And sometimes, yeah, some sometimes in other festivals you get the impression that it's uh, it's 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 a love fest, basically a a backslapping competition. <laughs> but uh, here here in Berlin, I think it's quite. Um, 
yeah, there's there's a there's quite a pure um, love of film, as cheesy as that sounds. <laughs> what drives us? The the sheer brilliance of being able to see all these films. Um, I think, you know, when you're when you're given one of these passes and you, you have the opportunity to see so many films, some which won't get theatrical releases, you want to make the the most of it. It's it's as simple as that. And you know, as much as it's it's fantastic to to have all these parties and so on and so forth, the the core of it is films and yeah, uh, of course it is a little tough to find the time between all of them to to write and to do the reviews, but uh, it's no, it's 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 fantastic. I, I, I wouldn't be anywhere else. <laughs> that was David Moraquand, freelance journalist reporting from the 66th Berlinale, the Berlin International Film Festival. He reviews and writes about the film industry for the English language magazine Ex Berliner. You can also find David's work online at exberliner.com. That's exberliner.com. We'll be posting part two of this interview shortly. And we'd love for you to visit us at filmvault.biz for more news, reviews, interviews, and other good stuff. If you would like to correspond with us, feel free to find me on Twitter as at Serena. That's C-I-R-I-N-A. Or write to me conversations at catania.us. It would be great if you have something really cool you'd like to share as I'm always looking for new adventure. Thanks for listening. And as we say here at Conversations, get up off your chair and do something wonderfully creative today. Until next time, this is Serena Catania with Conversations at filmvault.biz.